it cannot be argued these last two years. We had a, he went one and five this year down the stretch. And to me, everyone's going to make a big deal over last night. They got their ass kicked, ass kicked against Seattle a week ago. And if they win that game at home, they're division champs. Now, watching that game, let's say they would have won when the Rams lost to the Niners. Do the Rams go in there and beat them? Potentially, probably. Hell yeah. You know, that. <laughs> but I, I, I'm I, out, man. I've been out. I I wonder if he's going to get fired in the next couple of days. He's on a four-year contract this year, three. I know Schefter said that Oklahoma was interested, and I love that PFT and, and Big Cat are starting to make fun of these guys for, like, some of their Jimmy tweets and some of their tweets about, like, guys. I mean, it's it's a little much. I, I like him in Rap Sheet, but, like, you know, this guy's really done a lot to prove his worth. Like, guys, we're all watching the football game. The players, the coaches, like, we, we understand. Like, stop, you can't make things up out of – like, Jimmy, we've seen Jimmy Garoppolo. You don't need to tweet that out. <laughs> I'll but stop, the Kingsbury yes. thing, mm-hmm. like, and again, I, I know his agent. Uh, I just I bet him a long time ago, and we text every once in a while. I think they were pretty confident when things were going well, they were going to break the bank, right? He was he was going to be an eight nine million dollar coach if he won the division, maybe won a playoff game. It couldn't have ended very any worse. And do you notice? Did I forward you the Mike Silver tweet last night? Want to say one thing about Mike Silver, especially on the West Coast, he's going to know these owners. And he wrote, like, you know, last year the owner was not happy with the finish. And watching this tonight, I can imagine he's really mad. And you can coach on a one-year contract in the pros if you want to. I, I don't see how they would give him a fake extension. I, I wonder if I, – I, I will not be shocked if he loses his job by the end of the week. Now, I think it's the one thing that, you know, I know the Kingsbury camp felt pretty good about, somewhat tied at the hip with the quarterback. He's not just like – I, w- I wouldn't just view him as like a normal quarterback. He is somewhat unique. And he still is probably, you know, he plays quarterback, so he's a really important asset. I, I Maybe the move is just to run it back. These guys on kind of a contract year. But you, you could not even give him a – to me, you couldn't even give him a fake contract extension. Why would you want to just pay him to pay him? You wouldn't do it. You're right. You don't do it in the NFL. As you pointed they kicked, out, they, they beat Coughlin the shit out of them last night. Did not feel like a playoff game. And it felt like remember, a Thursday night game, to be honest with you. The Cardinals were once upon a time in the driver's seat to have to win the division. They should have been at home for that game. I saw now, someone I say it was eighty percent for whatever it means, eighty percent likelihood that they were going to win the NFC West at whatever. Yeah, they were I, nine I don't one. think they're the better team. I don't. I, I don't think they should have been at home, but that's how I would be thinking if I were the owner of the Cardinals. The question is, if you if you've made the decision to fire Cliff, are you doing that independent of your decision? Are you keeping Steve Kime and he's hiring the next coach? He's I wouldn't necess- Yeah, I mean, look, I don't he's, think Kimes a joke. Good. Yeah, I, I don't either. I, I, I don't. As crazy as it sounds, I wouldn't have a problem with it. But, um, like my question would be: clearly, Kyler is better than most quarterbacks. I don't want to hear about Kyler's MVP in September. The reason to not bring Cliff back would be sooner than later. You're going to have to make a decision about whether or not Kyler Murray is a forty million dollar quarterback. I need to know that answer as soon as possible because I don't want to be in the in-between. And I think in all likelihood, he probably will end up being that. But I got to find the guy that I think can win games with Kyler Murray immediately. And I you do think, wonder... You, you, you think there's a better than 50% chance he gets a massive contract from the Cardinals like in the next couple of years? I'm just... I'm saying he he was... If you, you would, if I'd brought this up in September, we'd all agree he's trending that way, right? Oh, yeah. So... I know you're going to have to make the decision. I know pretty that. Te- pretty pretty telling, though, two years in a row as the season goes on for a little guy that he just clearly doesn't look. This is he my point. Down. Like, I know, what it, I know what it looks like already. I got to know before I'm up against the deadline with Kyler what the future is with him. And I got to try and find the next coach for him. I actually, I'm not big on banging on Cliff. Like, I, you've told me enough. I've heard enough from other people. Like, he's liked. He works hard. I've, I've heard from somebody in that organization, like Cliff, Cliff works his ass off. Like there's no Cliff's not, you know, this whole playboy mentality that people put on him. No, no like, one's ever argued that. No, though. no. But I do think the, I think Kyler's part of this problem. And this is what I'm getting at is like, I would be a little apprehensive if I'm the next coach of the Cardinals. If this guy really is everything that, you know, people think he could be, then 
Why was he so terrible against the Los Angeles Rams? All these stats we're talking about with Cliff three years running, they're part of Kyler's resume too. And what happened Monday night is a big part of Kyler's resume. I thought Kyler looked like a like a baseball player in a slump on Monday, and there's no reason for it. It was the first game of the playoffs. And in baseball, you can have terrible body language because ultimately you play right field. As long as you catch the ball, you hit. You're not leading anybody else. Playing football and quarterback is a different animal. And bad body language in baseball is bad too. But his, he's got base, bad baseball body language, which is not what I want out of my quarterback. And when I brought this up to you, you made the point, and you're right. He looks that way when they're succeeding too. Well, when they're winning, it's not a problem. But he looked like he didn't want to bro, be there. It, it looked like the, the it looked like the last week before the All Star break to me watching Kyler Murray last night. He was zoned out. He I would was say for zoned him. out, and I do think he's it's better to take. Sorry, I, it's better to take the job with Kyler than most quarterbacks probably. But I would be apprehensive about being Kyler Murray's coach right now. Of all the quarterbacks that he's in the crew of in terms of talent, and he's in the crew of all the young guys, right? Right. You just list the guys under 30. Mahomes, Allen, Herbert, Lamar, his body language. Those guys are good body language guys. You're the quarterback. Like, Lamar, to me, is like the most upbeat of the group. It's why I've grown to love Lamar, even though, like, you know, we'll see. Like, obviously now some injury stuff, but it's like, Lamar and knowing people in the Ravens, his positive energy, Kyler, bro, you're fucking slumping your shoulders. Like, like you said, you just went over 35 and baseball just can kind of be lethargic just in general. Right. It's just like, what another game, this is football. And there have been enough rumblings with the top guys there that do not. And you know, the former players, I don't know. They have a few. One guy was at the game last night, Larry and Carson that have made mention of that. So I'm, I'm out. I, I'll, tell, I, I'll tell you where I'm at on where I'm at, Kyler. I'm out. I'm I think out. it's I think it's a real reflection. I I do buy that the body language is a reflection of the problems they have with him. And and, and I won't put that on Cliff in the sense of you, you can't change the guy's personality. But he knew this kid since he was 16 years old. He was the guy that pounded the table for him. He the, the reason they what's the how he job, got the job they can say they can say what they want, but they built the thing around him. Yeah. Which it's again, just, not yeah. a terrible plan. No, the plan, but again, the, you're investing in people. This is a people business. 100%. I'm just saying, I like to me, the logic of we've got the first pick, let's hire the coach that knows the quarterback that we think we'll take. It's not the most insane thing I've ever seen. No, I, I again, I'm not anti, I understand why they did it. There weren't even that many great coaching candidates, but you, I, I'm, I, Echo what you said. His body language makes me want to throw up. It, I can't imagine being a fan of that. No. You, you lose, you lose. But just the, the like you said, it's not even that fun when he wins. He's not like some big smiley guy. And listen, maybe he's just a negative Nancy. But God damn, you're getting your ass kicked. Show a little something. It was it was hard to watch. It really was. It was and, Honestly, and, that's where- as, as, as I, and I'm a Cardinal hater. It was one of those you feel like you're kicking them like this is an embarrassment. <laughs> I, I just wanted to get into it because I, the criticism of Cliff Fair, I think it's fine. But I think the Kyler stuff is, I think it's part of the problem. I think, well, I think I Cliff, the one thing you would give him, right? He's proven to not be the joke that people thought he would be. Because he yeah. went 8-8 eight eight last year and he won whatever, 10-11 games this year. Then you go 1-5. and five. It just, it is really difficult, I would say, in sports. You would say that historically in our lifetime in pro sports, when you're known as a guy that always collapse right down the stretch, and now it's happened multiple times, that is something that's hard to shake. Like you're like you're known as the collapse. Like you do take the player stink on you, whether it's your fault or not. Now he has two pretty epic collapses back to back years where he should have he should have been in the playoffs last year and then this year. I would say that Monday night game. The entire league, like some some people might have missed you Saturday afternoon, right? Just like you know, if you're if the team was out of the playoffs, maybe you're with right. your wife or your kids, you're at a fucking baseball game or a basketball game. There ain't a soul that missed that thing last night, right? <laughs> that just <laughs> college people, NBA people are watching, like people are just watching that football game. 